Hi, Jarebears. This is my morning skincare routine. I keep my apartment freezing, so I have to sleep in a mummy sleeping bag, and I will hit the alarm quite a few times before I actually get up. And once I finally do decide to get up, I slap my face quite a few times to get the blood flowing back into my face since it's been everywhere else. And I lay there, I think about life, and I go in the bathroom. I take some deep breaths and just stare at my face for a while and I judge everything, especially the spots that I already have from popping zits the night before. And yep, there's another one right there. And then I look at my face and all the things I hate about it. My mustache, my little lady mustache is sometimes there from not getting enough sun. I take another deep breath and I start my routine. I want to lather up, get some lotion on my face. So I use a little bit of ketchup and I make a ketchup beard because it's really hydrating. The tomato nightshade really brings out, you know, the water in your skin. So you make a nice little beard, tap it all out. It's up to you. I like to put it on my chin too, like a real man. Just get it all over. Cause that part of your skin matters too. The young neck looks good. Then we're gonna add some more lotion of, get that hair out of the way. We wanna get in your hair. Mustard, a mustard mustache. And we're actually gonna get it on our cheeks as well. And you're gonna wanna get it right in those eye bags because we look old if we don't. So get that mustard up. Oops, excuse me. Mustard up there because mustard actually is a deflammatory food and it will bring it down. And hopefully, also, I've been told it can bleach your mustache hairs, so that's why I put it there. It's pretty cool. And yeah, I don't put any on my forehead because I put some other stuff up there. I just feel like it. That stuff just doesn't work up there as well. It dries it out. And then we will put the last little bit of this. Some mushrooms. Some mushrooms. And then we think. And we think about having good skin. And why we want our body to have good skin. We'll do that for quite a while. Quite a few. Maybe a few hours. We'll stand there and think about having good, young, beautiful skin. And afterwards, eat the mushrooms, because why waste food? That would be crazy. And after you've hamburgered your face, you will use some sourdough bread sponge to clean it off. Because it's softer than a lot of sponges you buy. And it really works. As you can see, how quickly I can get everything off of there with the sourdough bread sponge and you can eat it after. I can't right now because I'm fully raw right now. <laughs> after that we're going to use oatmeal. A lot of people like to cook the oatmeal and make it into a paste but I find if you really want to exfoliate your skin just use it really rough and just leave it dry. It also saves you quite a bit of time not having to actually make the oatmeal and I'm all about that, all about saving the time. So rub it in as hard as you possibly can. We don't want soft here, okay people? This is your forehead. People get Botox here, but we're not gonna get Botox. This is a natural skincare routine. So rub it in hard, hard, hard. It should hurt. If it doesn't hurt, you're not doing it hard enough. And yeah. After you've put quite a bit of that oatmeal on, got it going, really see, look how hard I'm rubbing that. Look how hard I am rubbing that. Rub your lips, everything. Give everything a good rubbing to get all that dead skin off. Next, we're going to go for a banana. Oh, you know what I forgot? Shake out all of the oatmeal from your shirt before we go. Move on. <laughs> okay, get your banana. And you're just gonna hit yourself in the face like you were being banana slapped by a man. Something sort of like that, but not, you know, nothing 
If you know what that feels like, you know what, you know how to do it. If you don't, you'll figure it out. After that, we smash it back, smash it in like a tower bridge to both sides of your face, and rub the banana in. It'll really help mix with the oatmeal and create a very thickening, lotionish texture to your face. And you might as well rub some on your teeth too. I hear it's good for your teeth, but then it's good for your teeth for whitening. And last, we want to get off that oatmeal and that banana because it's sticky. We've made a paste. Ah, just be very careful with your eyes. Okay, don't just squeeze it willy-nilly. I forgot because I was shooting the video. Close your eyes first, then you can squeeze it and then rub it all around. It will, in fact, really, really, really clean off all that. I mean, we use lemon to clean in your kitchen. Just be careful you don't have any open wounds because it will burn that acid in there. But yes, this also creates like almost like a nature's acid peel on your face. Look at that. See how good that is? But last but not least, we want to cool it back down. And you're just going to pee bag yourself. Pee bag yourself over and over, however many times you feel. Excuse me. And last but not least, we will wipe it off with a paper towel. A rough one. Like, buy the cheap paper towels. Don't buy any nice ones. Buy some rough ones. That way you're also getting the extra exfoliating you know, exfoliation was always what you want for it to look young. You might as well wipe off your teeth too. That banana should rub it all off. And then mess with your hair, your really greasy hair, because you haven't showered in a week. And there you go. Look at that. I look like a teenager. <laughs> How's it going today, Jerbers? I'm Jerry Sky. If you're new here, hope you enjoyed this awesome skincare routine video I just made for you. If you couldn't tell, it's a joke. <laughs> um, none of that is real. I don't do any of that in the morning except for the alarm stuff. Not necessarily the keeping it freezing cold in the apartment and everything, but <laughs> I do hit the alarm a shit ton of times. Not good, but I do it. So anyways, I got asked about my skincare routine <laughs> and I just wanted to share with you guys that I don't do anything to my skin. The better I eat, the more fruits and vegetables, the more raw vegan that I eat, the better my skin looks. If I eat more stuff with oil or what tends to be stuff with oil or fried foods or stuff like that, that really makes me break out. Or refined sugars. If I eat a lot of refined sugar, that makes me break out. And I know for a ton of people, dairy is actually what causes their acne. So if you eat dairy and you have a lot of acne, try going off a of dairy entirely for a couple weeks and you'll probably see your skin clear up. And if you do, I mean, just go vegan then. <laughs> um, so basically what I do is I, I, when I do shower, like I don't wash my hair, but once a week, sometimes I don't shower, but once a week, just depends. It depends on how dirty I get. If I'm sitting in the house all the time, I don't necessarily have to shower. I haven't done very much and I'm okay with it. But when I shower, I don't really do anything. I put water on my face. Sometimes if I feel like it's really greasy, maybe I haven't been eating very well. I've been eating a lot of oil. Right now, no, because I've been fully raw, but I will put, I just have a plain unscented 365 bar soap from Whole Foods that sometimes I put on my face to wash it off. I don't always do that. Just depends if I'm like, oh yeah, I feel dirty. And even in the mornings, like I don't really do anything I don't even wash my face most days. Honestly, sometimes I'll, all I'll do to keep myself clean is like after I brush my teeth, I have a little bit of wetness on it and then I'll just wipe myself off with this towel, this travel towel, it's like microfiber or whatever. It's really soft and that's it. I don't do anything. I think your skin is a reflection of your insides of your diet. So if you are putting a lot of stuff that, you're, that doesn't agree with your body into your body, it shows up here. Or if I'm out in like dirt or if I sweat too much and I don't wipe my face off or just rinse it off, obviously clogged pores, that's another way too. But really, 
it's mostly diet, everybody. More stuff, you don't really, you don't need to put stuff on your skin. You keep yourself hydrated, drink a lot of water, or if you don't like drinking water like me, I do not like drinking water, I eat lots of watermelon or fruits or things that have a high water content, so that way I'm hydrated. It super helps. <laughs> Coconut water. A lot of your skin feeling dry and everything is your hydration level. That's why cooked foods, salty stuff, oily, like that stuff dries you out. And we are made up of mostly water. So if you're not actively putting water in there all the time, you just keep putting stuff in to dehydrate yourself. Caffeine, coffee, tea, too much chocolate. <laughs> you're dehydrating your body. You gotta replenish that to keep yourself hydrated, alive, beautiful. So that's, that's my only thing. I notice too when I do wear makeup some days, it tends to clog my pores and I will have more issues with stuff and then I feel like I have to put more, I have to wear makeup again to then hide the stuff and then that makes it even worse and it's like kind of a vicious cycle. So less makeup is more, <laughs> better diet is more. And that's it, that's what I do. I have never really been a big makeup user for most of my life. So that, that's why I also probably my skin looks so good. Thank you so much. I hope this helps, gives you some insight into not always relying so much on products. There's more to your outsides than just focusing on the outside. It usually starts from the inside. <laughs> okay, so there you go. I hope you guys liked my <laughs> skincare routine and you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to put some comments in the comment section below. Subscribe before you leave. Check me out on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter at Jerisky. I'm Jerisky. Sky the limit. Woo! Oh no, man, it's gonna kill me. Good thing he's out of town.